hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be teaching us how to make this simple kimono top or boba top yeah so let's get started now the first thing you want to do is to fold your fabric into two this is ankara fabric i've already folded it into two okay so this is a fold now for the width of the fabric what you do is you first of all measure half of your across back or shoulder measurements then you would now measure um the length of sleeve you want to work with <clears throat> so for me my length of sleeve and half of my across back that's about probably 22 inches it depends on preference can reduce yours or increase it okay so now i've cut out the exact amount of fabric i want to work with okay then i'm using the length of the agar fabric and make yours shorter so i'm just folding so that we can see what i'll be doing on the top part okay i want to work on the neckline yeah so um First thing first is to mark half of my across back measurements. Then, of course, the length of sleeve that I want to work like I said initially. Then, you can see that I left some space. Then I'll mark 3 inches for my neck width. Um, while drafting the back first. While drafting the back first. I'm trying to zoom the camera so that we can see. So I've marked 3 inches there. Then I'll come down by one inch for the neck depth. This is the back. Okay. So I'll use my French curve to create the neckline. There. Okay. So that's my neckline. Now I will cut out. Okay. But I want to create my shoulder slants first. So for my shoulder line there, I'll come down by one inch. I'll mark one inch that way. Yeah and um i'll use my ruler to connect it to the neckline okay so that's my neckline there i'll link it to the one inch mark so that's my shoulder slant and then i won't cut on the original measurements i'll add half inch seam allowance to the neckline and also to the shoulder slant so don't forget we are cutting just the back first it's as simple as this so this is my back here okay and uh, like i said this is the back okay so now i want to work on the side okay so um you come down from the shoulder line with about 11 inch let me adjust the fabric okay yeah for the sleeve opening, you come down by 11 inch there. Then you come in by at least 3 inches. Okay. You come in by 3 inches like that. Create a curve. And I'll also mark 3 inches at the hemline of my dress. Then I'll use my ruler to draw a straight line to link it to the sleeve. Now, for this part, you can do more than 3 inches. If you feel the bubble will be too big, you can do as much as 5 inches. Then you link it back to the um, armhole, the point where I came down by um, 11 inches. So I'll just use my curve to create a more defined armhole there. Okay. Yeah. So I'll cut out. Okay. So once I cut out... We'll use this to cut. So I'm just cutting out like so. So like I said earlier on, we're going to be using this to cut out the front. Okay. So this is it here. Now to cut out the front, I'll fold another piece of fabric again. The same fabric anyway. I'll fold my fabric again and then we'll use this to cut the front so i want us to see how it looks like this is the back that we just cut out here the neckline 
okay so um, you can see a folded fabric on that one we just cut now this is it here so I want to place it on top of the fabric yeah and then what I want to cut now is the front so <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is I will use this the back to cut out the front just the side seam and the shoulder slant okay so that will just have a frame or have an idea of how it's going to look like okay so let me cut out that first then we'll work on the neckline yeah so i'm going to cut out the excess here so actually this this um, style doesn't take long to make you don't need any pattern for this and depending on your skill or your speed you should be able to make this in 45 minutes or one hour yeah it doesn't really it doesn't take time like that so i'm just trimming out and i'll also trim the um excess on the shoulder okay i'm trying as much as possible for us to see everything i'm doing yeah so um before i trim the center front i'll still want to trim the shoulder slant and then we'll work on the um, front neckline so let me first of all trim the shoulder slant first i need to pin this together okay so i'm trimming off my shoulders line who, who else noticed that i'm trying to be as slow as possible in this video because a lot of people always complain that the video is too fast not detailed blah 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 so i'm trying to be as slow as possible so kindly leave your comments in the comment section and if you're a new subscriber or you're a new person do not forget to subscribe okay so now i'm notching my neckline okay there on the front and back together so that when I take off the, the back pattern, I'll know where the neckline stops. Then I'm going to use my long ruler to um, draw a line, you know, the center front line. It's the same thing with the center back line. The only thing is that the, cent the, the front will be having seam allowance because of joining of the, um, should I call it band now? I don't know what to call that stuff. So this is the line here. So what I'll do now is from my shoulder line, okay, I'm going to come down by 15 or 16 inches from my shoulder line. I'll measure 15 or 16 inches. Or oh, you can even do more. I'll mark that point. Then I'll use my ruler to connect that point to the neckline. Remember the part I notched there on the neckline? Yes. So I'll link it to that point. I'll link it like that. And then I'll use my French curve to blend into the center front like that. Is that easy? So I'm still going to um, extend that line downwards. But let me just let me trim off the neckline at the top first. So I won't trim the exact line. I'll add half inch seam allowance like so. Okay, then I'll just cut like that half inch. Okay, so remember I, I traced out a line, the center front line. So I'll just trace it all the way to the um to the hemline. Okay, so that everything we're doing is accurate. So I'll just trace it down like that. So by the time I remove the back piece. Once I remove the back piece, all I'll just do is I would I won't cut on that line. I'll add half inch seam allowance and cut all the way to the top. Okay, I see my half inch seam allowance, so I'll just keep cutting. So what it means is the lower one is the front, which is not on fold, and the back is on fold. So I'll just keep cutting. Do not forget to add your half inch seam allowance there okay so we are almost done we're almost done it's very simple so this is the front you can see it this is the front here two pieces i want us to have a good view so i'm trying to like shows at all angles okay so there and um of course 
the back is unfold this is the back here so i'll open it up this is the back you can see that it's unfold i'm going to open it up now okay so for the sewing the first part of the sewing is to join the front and back together on the shoulder okay so this is my back and i'll take um the two front pieces i'm trying to place the fabric in such a way that we can see because you know the pattern the fabric is big we're working with a big um design so i'm trying to capture everything at once okay so um i'll place the front and back together on the shoulder and I'll go ahead and sew with half inch seam allowance like that. So I'll just sew it and then I'll come back to show us. So make sure you sew with just half inch seam allowance, like I said. Okay, same thing on this other side here. You're sewing with half inch. Okay, guys. So here we go. I've sewn with half a seam allowance you can see the joining there and as a general rule always press every step of the way don't wait till you're done sewing before you press so now next thing i'll do a roll them for the um for the sleeve opening okay i'll just roll it half inch twice yeah i'm gonna roll half inch twice like that i roll half inch twice so when I'm done sewing that, then I would now sew the front and back together. Starting from the sleeve there, okay. My size seam allowance is one inch. So I'll sew with one inch from here all the way down. And I'm going to repeat the same process on this other side here. Okay, I'll roll the sleeves, okay, and then sew with one inch all the way down so once i do that i'll place it on the mannequin for us to see yeah so this is it here i've placed the dress on the mannequin next thing is to measure the length of the collar so you have to measure from the hemline okay you measure from there all the way to the top round the neckline round and then you continue your measurement from here all the way down so when you measure that you're going to cut out a long piece so this is three inches wide and it's on fold okay so next thing you will pin this to your dress on the right side you're pinning the collar to the right side of the jacket okay so you pin it around and you go and attach the collar to the um dress so you just sew it round and then when you're done you will still need to do a roll them for the hemline of the kimono and yeah so once you do a roll them that's all so you can write this with a, a pencil jean a baggy jean just freestyle and i'll show the final outcome so i hope you learned something from this tutorial kindly share like and do not forget to subscribe if this is your first time on our channel so thank you so so much for your time bye